as you know, this program is ahead of the curve. We say things on this program that you find out about yearsly. At some point in time, the statistics come in, the surveys come in, the results of research come in. At some point in time, everything I ever said is proven to be true. Many times when I make a comment on this program, many times when I make a comment on this program, <laughs> you say to me, you don't have any proof of that. What makes you think that? How can you say that? And I'm forced to tell you that your professor has years and years and years of experience. Years and years. Many of you don't accept that as an adequate response. But I uh, feel compelled to point out to you time and time and time again, time and time and time again, that I know what I'm talking about. And I am looking for another story that proves what I've been telling you has been correct, that... Uh, or things that I have said on this program uh, 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 eventually become trends. Eventually, the corporate world catches on. The pop culture world catches on. Things I say eventually become uh, speeches by other people. Without crediting the original source, of course. But those of you who listen every day know. You know. You know. You know, we heard this stuff first. So here's the latest example. This um, from a website called monstersandcritics.com. It's from UPI. The top U.S. advertising agency has a policy has decided to stop portraying men as testosterone-soaked fools. J. Walter Thompson Worldwide, owned by Britain's WPP Group, said it would henceforth develop smart, positive portrayals of the modern man. This according to the chairman of J. Walter Thompson, Bob Jeffrey. Uh, here, is, um, here is what he said. He said, men have faded, in, by the way, does this sound anything like stuff you've heard on this program? Men have faded into a collective boobdom. A sort of jackass meets the man show meets the Simpsons. As a result, the way we approach the men's market is ripe for reinvention. Really? Well, hopefully all the J. Walter Thompson clients will be on the Tom Likas show. Because we've known this for years. Says here, the move by JWT, the biggest U.S. ad agency, comes in conjunction with its promotion of a book by one of its vice presidents, Martin... I'm going to say it's... Salmon. Is it Salmon or Salmon? Who can tell? I, I'll, you know, it's Salmon. Marion Salmon, who argues masculinity has become an easy target for mockery. Salmon, yes it is Salmon, and co-authors Ira Batathia and Anne O'Reilly used the book, The Future of Men, to argue that men have been reduced a little more than, get this, sperm donors. They forgot the part about the human wallets. Because that is what uh, television has reduced, uh, reduced us to. Sperm donors and human wallets. It's not enough to be the sperm donor. After we donate the sperm, we then must donate cash. 18 years of cash. Because women are so independent. They don't need men. 
They just need our cash. Totally amazing. Unbelievable. Salman uh, also said, all too often in the marketing arena, we're portraying the man as the victim of his sexual organ or his lust, his emotional neediness, his overinflated ego or his sheer ineptitude. Wow. Now this is the second time, that's from UPI, that's the second time we read a story about an ad agency on the air. This is not the same ad agency as the first story we read a few weeks ago. That was um, earlier in the summer. The second time an ad agency has finally come to grips with something that we have known for years. Years and years and years. Holy cow. So, uh, J. Walter Thompson will stop mail bashing ads. And it's something I've been telling you for a long time. And that is that uh, television is not just the commercials. That the entire broadcasting day is a mail bashing orgy. All day long. Every day. Talk shows about men who won't quote unquote live up to their responsibilities. Men who are deadbeat dads. Men who don't know how to show love to their children. Men who are drunks. Men who are drug addicts. Men who need to be made over. Men are creeps, men are dogs. Men think with the wrong head. Men are uh, disloyal. Men screw around on their wives. Men don't know how to love. Without us, some guys would starve. I mean, this is one image after another of how stupid we are, how needy we are, how we don't know how to do our own housework or press our own clothes. We're just a bunch of, 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 of de-balled losers who wouldn't know what kind of floor wax to use unless a woman came into the picture and told us what to do. Talk shows all day long. Men are creeps, men are pigs, men are dogs, men are skanks, men are this, men are that. Men are abusers, women are victims. It's all goddamn day. Television is the vagina with a pair of rabbit ears. Or a set-top box. Or a DVR. Or whatever. It's a vagina. We can't ever offend women, but we can offend men 24-7 on 350 channels. It's outrageous. So... J. Walter Thompson says they're going to stop with the mail bashing ads. What do you think about this? Tom like this. 1-800-5800. Tom. I felt like you. Why not? Because I'm listening to you. The Tom Likas Show. <laughs> It's the Dom Likas Show. Do you care? On 97.1, the FM talk station. It's the Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. This is Lisa on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Yes. I just wanted to say that the only reason I tune into your show is to hear about how stupid men are. I mean, isn't this the target audience that you're talking about? Actually, the, the, the uh, ads we're talking about are not aimed at men. They're aimed at women. They're aimed at women. Yes, the, the ads that show how stupid men are are meant to be funny and entertaining to women. Oh, I didn't catch that. that but that's well, I didn't true. say that, but that's that's what it was supposed to be. Okay. But isn't that still true, that that's how women are? They're trying to change the perception that women have of men? I don't understand. Uh, they want to change their advertising campaign. So do they want to change the way that women see men? No, I just think they're not going to use this tactic to entertain women anymore. Because... They're men, and they're standing up for men's rights? No, no, I don't even think it's that. I simply think that, for example, they made a corporate decision. One possible explanation 
would be that while you're attracting women, you are offending men who might be part of the audience that would buy your product. Are you personally offended by these ads? Yes. Can you give me an example? Yes, I've given this one several times, and I say this as a longtime shareholder of the company that I'm about to talk about here, okay? okay. But uh, you live in L.A., you've seen the commercial, and I've discussed this one on the air before. Okay. There is a commercial on TV that shows a man frozen in fear, staring in the background. You hear Muzak playing, but you can't really tell where he is yet. After a while, it becomes apparent he's at a supermarket. And now you, after about 10 or 12 seconds of a still shot of a guy just looking scared to death, they show the camera from the other angle. What's he looking at? He's looking at the meat counter. As if he wouldn't know what to do with this meat if he brought it home. And then the voiceover says, Carl's Jr., without us, some guys would starve. Implying that men are too stupid to cook meat. Okay, I can see the point there. All right. How about this billboard? This is, this is not a TV commercial. It's a billboard that appeared in Seattle for a Dodge truck. And it said, does more than most husbands. <laughs> yes, yeah, you think that's funny. But guess Women what? Do you think most that's funny. Yeah, but get, yeah, but you know what's funny about it? Yeah, who's paying for that goddamn truck? Well, who's buying the truck? Who's paying for it? No, no. You know, I'll tell you one thing those husbands did. They paid for the truck. So while you're laughing your ass off, just remember who wrote the check. Just remember who had to go walk girders all day or work in a sweatshop all day to pay for that truck. Yes, I'm offended by that. Do you th Let me tell you something. If I were married, do you think I would buy a truck with a billboard that said does more than most husbands? I'll tell you right now, that is a truck I would never, ever write a check for. Ever. Yes, but you're smarter than the average American man. I'm telling you, uh, uh, I don't take that much credit. I think there's a lot of people who are offended by it. And you know how I know that? Wow. Because I don't live in Seattle. I found out about that billboard because dozens of people in Seattle wrote to me and complained about it. Amazing. It actually, they actually made an uproar about well, it. Well, that's my point. People who listen to this show are becoming very savvy about this stuff. Hmm. And yes, there's a backlash. And yes, I'm creating some of the backlash. Because yes, I'm fed up. And a lot of the guys out there are fed up. And I think you're right. Women are amused by it because I find myself amused by it. Yeah. Well, let's see how amusing it is when the man who writes the uh, check so you can buy trucks leaves you for a younger woman. Mm -hmm. And we'll show you how much a husband can do. No, I'm not saying it's right. You buy a truck for somebody else. I agree that society has been, you know, um, programmed to be that way. Well, again, it's the fascination with people in the television business of trying to attract women. And then the ad agencies, you know, where the media buyers are women and what have you. That's what this is all about. Mm -hmm. But guess what? You know, we can never forget who makes most of the money. And I'm telling you, there are men like me out there who are fed up with the steady diet of television that shows how stupid and unloving and insensitive and incompetent we are. Do you really think it's going to make a difference? It's going to change? It already did. J. Walter Thompson isn't going to make any more ads like that. That's the biggest ad agency in the world. Hmm. Yes, it's making a that. difference. Yes, it is. Hang on a second, Lisa. Hang on a second. Shane, what did you want to say to Lisa? Yeah, I got an ad for you, man. Check this out. Gonna show some girl like Lisa buying a BMW, right? And then the scene flashes to a man making that money, and then it can say, "Man, without some dumb little bitches, they wouldn't have a meal ticket, huh?" Uh huh. You wouldn't huh? see you wouldn't see that ad, would you? No, you wouldn't. But they should definitely have it. You wouldn't see that ad. No, I'm up here in Seattle, and I drove by that billboard every day for a long time. That's ridiculous. How man. about an ad for a Hoover vacuum cleaner that says sucks longer and harder than most women? <laughs> it doesn't run her mouth either, huh? Yeah. <laughs> See, that right. would have worked because and you don't have to buy flowers buy for it. Cleaners. Yeah, but that's. <laughs> I mean, you can say this about any number of products. <laughs> Hey, I guess how about, how about if you if you had ads like that for women 
uh, you know, uh, uh, making fun of women. There'd be protesters. There'd be pickets. There'd be oh, yeah. women's organizations. Wait, 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 I got one. I got one. That was it. If a name's like commercial man, right? And if I had a younger wife, I wouldn't need it. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> right, Tom. Thank you. Thank you for that. I appreciate it, Shane. I mean, this, this is what I'm talking about, Lisa. Uh huh. If you had ads that said the same kinds of things about women, people would flip out. Oh, absolutely. We would stand up and sue. Yeah. So good for you for doing the same. You know, how about. Uh, the <laughs> How about any any appliance? Doesn't matter what it is. Does more than most women do around the house. I guess when something is said enough times, you get desensitized to it. That's my point. Yeah. Hang on a second, David. What do you want to say to Lisa? Oh uh, well, Lisa, I just want to say to shut up, please. You don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I mean, I don't know what you. I, I seriously do not know what you women would be doing without men. Uh, about these, uh, I mean, you guys talk about, you know, appliances and all that, Tom. I mean, you know, something that has to do with home repairs and everything. Uh, what would women do without men? Who the hell is going to go up in the roof, change the, change the roof, the, top, the roof tile, you know, change the, fix the plumbing? Who the hell is going to do that? They're going to call a plumber who, who's a, a man, by the way? I mean, seriously, women, you just... All women well, even, the, even the women, even the women who take sperm from men, like they they, they accept uh, artificial insemination. Not only do they need a man for that, but in most cases, women then want to get child support or something else from a man. Exactly. I mean, they, they, women are not independent, and they do need men. And it's the biggest lie in the world that women don't need men. And then we have all this advertising based on this false premise that we're a bunch of incompetent losers. But guess what? We're not so incompetent that we can't show up at the office every day and make a living and come home and pay for all that crap that women buy. Exactly. And then come home to hear these broads. Bitching at us about the worst life. nightmare for these companies and their ad agencies will be if men start waking up and start saying when an ad says does more than most husbands, this is a product that we are never ever going to buy ever, not in a million billion trillion years. Exactly, Tom. You'll You're find right you want to find out what husbands do. They don't buy Dodge trucks from uh, people who uh, have seen that billboard. They just don't. Exactly. And man, like you said, Tom, if it was like if it was the other way around, you see all these women. You know, like you said, you know, I all these protests and suing right. the guy and just just burying burying that guy, you know, and just they'd be on his ass big time. Right. So I mean, they just need to shut up and and just shut up. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, I know. <laughs> By the way, wow. I, I thank you both for the calls. Now, by the way, Dodge makes a, a fine truck, and everybody knows it. But they have to stop running ads like that. Stop it. This is the kind of thing I'm talking about. This is Rod on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? I'm okay, Rod. Hey, uh, this kind of thing is uh, long overdue. I uh, I was married for 16 years, and I, I fought with the wife the, all, the whole time, saying, you know what? Uh, women don't understand reality. They, uh, uh, okay, the old reality was the, the wimpy guy, but the new guy, the new guy coming up has had it with this, with this, with the girls being, uh, superior. Right. And so, uh, yeah, I just, my, my thing was, is I'm not buying anything that made the guy look stupid. And, uh, a lot of these TV shows, uh, uh, where they, the dumb guy is, uh, they're, you know, the dumb guy is always the dumb guy, and he always has to say, I'm sorry, and, and it was always his fault, and the woman's always smarter. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. Well, I agree with you, Rod, and I thank you for that. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Brian on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. You there, Brian? You're not there. Craig, hello. Craig. Hello. Hi. How are you? Great. Is this Dino or Tom? Who do you want to talk to? Tom, it's you. <laughs> You're not getting me to that one. All right. Yeah. You know what I'd like to see? I'd like to see you take this to the next step and tar start calling out these politicians that are making these pro-women uh, laws. Well, I, you know, we do from time to time, actually. I mean, I, you know, frankly, I don't spend my day watching C-SPAN, but uh, we, we have done that. Yeah, I, I, because it's just, it's just wrong the way we're treated. Mm -hmm. And, and it's, it's got to stop, because we do pay the bills. And I had to set mine down, 25 years of marriage. And the boys need to know I was putting up with it, and I came to it at a stoplight one day, and I got a whole routine on getting in touch with my female side. <laughs> Man. You know what they're always wanting us to do? Oh, yeah. 
it's fun. Now I got a headache and I'm too tired. And all oh, that good stuff. Man. Because I'm nearing 50, you know? Uh, that change we go through. Oh, it's kind of sad that I wasted my best years, but hey, you know? Hey, there's still time, Craig. Yeah, I Life expectancy ride, now is over 80. There's plenty of time. Uh, well, I'm starting over in life. You got you start over, you make up for lost time, for Christ's sake. You got it on right. All right. And my 17-year-old, I'm proud of him. He's your disciple. Love that. I clued him in. I love that. And he had a gal walk up to him on campus. He hadn't even taken her out yet and started jawing in his face. He says, you have an opportunity to make a U-turn. <laughs> and don't come back. <laughs> <laughs> love that, Craig. Love it. This is Diane on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Diane. Hi. I'm just listening to your show, and I, you know, I love you to death. I think you're a great entertainer and everything, but I just got to tell you that, you know, I'm 32, year old, 32 years old. I own my own business, and I have always made more money than any man I've ever dated my whole life. I've worked three jobs sometimes and still made more money than most men. Wow. And I just think that consumers nowadays, a lot of them are women. And I think that's why everybody... When they want to advertise towards something, women are the big decision thinkers. Yeah, but the, here's the deal. You can take that too far. And the fact well, is, if I were married, and I, 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 I my wife came to me and said, could you buy the truck that does more than most husbands? No way. Well, yeah. No. I mean, you know, women no. the beer advertising. They, you know, they have women on there with low-cut T-shirts and high-rise. Women are not the target audience. And by the way, women are women are not earning women are not earning the beer money. Now, some I think that very few used to be that women didn't make as much. Money. I didn't say I women. Uh, uh, by the way, women are constantly women's groups are constantly complaining that women make less than men do. I I like I said maybe now, I'm I don't care I don't care how much you make. You are one person. Exactly, but I think that a lot of times too is when men get married, they lose themselves. Women, they always stick with their friends. They have friends. They stay in contact with their friends, and they have a social... That's right, because the husband is a sperm donor and a human wallet, and they don't need... When they get married, they just quit being friends. They quit doing the manly things. Yeah, well, that, that much I agree with you on, and men, that's why I always talk about male bonding and the importance of yeah, not giving up your important. friends and not giving up your football on Sunday <laughs> and not giving up your hunting and fishing and poker playing and drinking and drug doing, whatever it is you do. A lot of times, though... Men lose that, and they come. I, uh, uh, on that, come. I agree with you. But that is why that is why we're here. That is what this show is all about. But that's when the women start making all the decisions, and men are not well, like they used to. Again, be. I would not have known about this billboard for Dodge unless people had started calling me and telling me yeah. about. It. Well, I would I not have about known it. about I live it. In, I live in Washington State, but I don't drive up to Seattle every day. So you've seen yeah. this billboard, haven't you? I have never seen it. It was never, all over. It. it was all I, over the Metropolitan Seattle area, all over the place. Really? And yes. I just when I listened to it, I thought that was kind of funny because you know. I'll bet you I mean, did. You go, to, you go to Hooters. I mean, I'm taking my kid to Hooters. You That's know, not, what does that have to do with anything? Going to Hooters. What I'm saying is a lot of things in life. It's towards men, and one yeah, simple thing. Whether something is targeted at men or targeted at women is not my point. This goes beyond targeting women. It targets women by making victims of men. Yeah, but I mean, women get made... Hooters, Hooters does not make you a victim. Well, of course it doesn't make me a victim. I don't think that a man's going to go boo-hoo. Somebody, somebody made this funny statement, and now, now I'm... I'm it's know, not funny. and but The reason it's not funny is because the husband, in 99% of the cases, bought that goddamn truck. Oh, uh, I don't think that's true. Oh, really? Talk to a car dealer. I've had this conversation with car dealers. Well, the thing about it is, a husband... I know who pays for those cars, and just because you have... Just because you bought your own car doesn't mean most women do. They don't. Well, you know, I mean, I can't I can't say that for everyone, but you know what? I, like I say, a lot I, of... Again, you're using your own example, and you're, you're, you're extrapolating that to, 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 to appear that all women are like you, and they're not. No, not all Most women are Most women like are not women. like you. Most women may make less money than their husbands or boyfriends and expect the other guy to pick up the slack. Well, you know, it's a, it should be a 50-50. Should be, but it isn't. Should be, but it isn't. Yeah, well, that's and the minute husbands and the minute husbands start noticing this, and the minute husbands notice that their money is being spent uh, on products that were marketed to women by attacking men, when men start noticing that, they're going to start fighting back. 
Well, but that's the funny thing is, men don't fight that. Oh, the they will. They w hang on a second. Eric, what did you want to say to Diane here? Diane, let me tell you something, dude. By you talking, you're just making yourself look even more dumb. You may be one woman in the entire thing, but we're looking at statistics, and statistics show that men are the ones who pay the bills. Men are the ones who buy the trucks. So by so men, are, this, men are the ones that usually hand the paychecks over to the wife, and the wife actually no. pay the bill because men are, I don't care. most of them, are too irresponsible to I actually pay the bills. There you go. Men are, men are too irresponsible to pay if the bills. If are too irresponsible, then why do women have to get married and have yeah, to have We're responsible enough to show up at the goddamn yeah. job while you girls are sitting yeah. around working flex time. I'll tell you that. When you guys are pregnant, you guys, when you guys are pregnant, you guys get time off. When, when you guys are pregnant, we don't get time off, but we Honey, still have to pay for 50% of the baby. When baby. I had my son, I, got, I was a single mother. I had my kid. I always right. raised my kid. You're I went off week for two You're one weeks. Lady. I didn't right. get no if, money if from you, nothing. If you did, I went then, to work. If you two did all the had my kid. So tell me how much of a of a woman that has to. A lot of women have to go. It doesn't back to matter. Work. It doesn't you matter. Know, they don't have a man. It doesn't matter. Them. Just That's because ridiculous. you're one woman, you're one woman. Exactly. How many women I'm out there are doing that right now? There's a lot of women that are like me. My best friend is the exact same way I am. And well, yes, you we are, do well, of course your like best it. friend is the exact same way you are. Yeah. That's why she's your best friend. Yeah, you women hang The fact that you have a best friend just like you doesn't mean all the women are like that. That's I outrageous. Know. I know. But that, my best friend is just like me, too. You know that? Yeah, Isn't that amazing? Best just like me. <laughs> But exactly. I'm just saying is, you know, the thing about it is... I have a friend who was born the exact same month, day, and year as I was. Is that incredible? It doesn't, yeah. It's Amazing. It, well, it the doesn't thing matter about, it is, about anything because you are one woman and, yeah, your best friend does it. But you got to look at the statistics. The majority of women go out there, get well, pregnant, and you know what? The thing kill. about it is a lot of these men should not settle for less. Yeah. This is a big thing. They for right. they, no, here's what they, here's what they shouldn't settle for. Here's what they shouldn't settle for. No, I'm going to tell you what they shouldn't. I'm going to tell you what they shouldn't settle for. Marriage. That's what they shouldn't settle for. Men shouldn't get married in the first place. Yeah, you know what? Men shouldn't got, become husbands, and then they wouldn't be insulted by billboards. Listen to this. I waited five and a half years before I got married because I said, if I can take care of and stand your crap for five years and deal with you, I'll stay married to you for the rest of my life. Let me I tell you something. It is women. It is women. It is women who put the sledgehammer to our heads and demand marriage. Demand that we sign well, that I, goddamn I didn't contract. Want, I didn't even want to get married. After well, I said, that's I'll, what women. That's what women who can't find a husband always say. I'll tell you why he wanted to get married. He wanted lower insurance. That's the only oh, reason you get married. Or tax deduction. Yeah, well, yeah. you might be onto something there. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. For painful, it's more expensive. You're paying like 35 cents for the first Nina, and then... Who the hell are you talking to? I'm talking to Tom Likas. The Tom Likas Show. On... <laughs> Tom J. Walter Johnson is going to stop with these mail bashing ads. They are the biggest ad agency in America. Mike on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you? I'm okay, Mike. Hey, Tom. I am so glad to hear you talk about this because I am so damn pissed off when I see these ads. They just fry my ass up one side and back down the other. First of all, if that man standing in front of the meat counter had a woman at home who knew how to cook, he wouldn't be there in the first place. And most importantly, he wouldn't have to go to that slop hamburger place and and even begin to eat that crap. Next thing, I got two I got two teenage daughters, sixteen and twelve. They see those kinds of ads, they start giggling about it. I got to set them straight in terms of whatever the commercial is. Going back to that hamburger one again, I told them if he had a woman at home who knew how to cook, he wouldn't be there to begin with. Next thing is I got a 13 year old son who I got him tuned into you so that he understands that that any man worth any kind of self esteem. I mean, how about a new Carl's doing your ad? The guys come here because their wives won't cook. That's exactly my point. That's exactly my point. What the hell's the guy doing there in the supermarket to begin with? If he had a decent woman at home who knew how to shop, knew how to cook, and knew how to take care of him, they wouldn't be running those goddamn ads. 
Mm-hmm. Tommy, I got it off my chest. I want to thank you, pal. Keep up the good work. Mike, thank you. Appreciate the call. Let's take on Brent on the Tom Likas show. Hey, Tom. How's it going, buddy? I'm okay, Brent. All right. Um, first time, long time? Kill. Good stuff. Good stuff we got going here, Tom. Uh, yeah, first thing I wanted to say about this whole thing is the reason it's taken this long for men to actually say something is because we're not complainers by nature, yeah. much like women and, well, children. But yes. children have a valid reason. Women just bitch because that's what they do. And the second reason is, uh, you know, we don't have time to go and protest things because we're working. Right. We're making money every day. Yes. We've got better things to do than complain and you know, gather all together and boo hoo hoo in front of everybody. Yes. It's, uh, all well, you're, you're right about that. Uh, but uh, you see, again, we don't have to pick it or protest. There's a very easy way. Uh, and that is when your wife tries to buy a product. That's right, the mighty dollar. You just say, no, we're not buying that product. That's it. We're not buying it. That's if it. these ad campaigns are not effective, they will change them, as Jay Walter Thompson is changing them now. Well, I ho- I'm glad to see somebody finally is and finally gives. I them- salute the man. I mean, I, finally, uh, somebody felt our pain. I think it's great. My hat is off to J. Walter Thompson and all their clients. I think it's spectacular. It's time to stand up and take our balls back, Tom. You're right about that, Brett. We need the other ad agencies to uh, to stand behind J. Walter Thompson. No doubt about it. <laughs> Tom, it's Marie. Hello. Yeah, I think that your whole men pay for tax thing is a whole crock of crap. A crock of crap. I have a 90, yeah, a crock of crap. I have a 99 Ford Power Stroke. Not a dime of it was ever put forward by a man. It was all put forward by me. Really? Along with my is that ranch. so? Yeah. Uh-huh. Along with my what ranch. Do you, what what do you look like, sweetie? Else. What do you look what like? What do I look like? Yeah. I'm five foot five. And? And? I'm five foot five. I weigh 185 pounds, and that's That's why you paid for it yourself. Okay, I understand. No, I paid. Uh, no man, uh, no man buys a truck for a 185 pound woman. It just isn't done. I'm, I'm, well, what man bought you yours? You're, you're, prov- you're proving my point by calling in. You have proven my point by calling in with your filthy mouth there, and, and and you've just pointed out, yeah, you didn't you didn't need a man. You couldn't get a man to buy you a truck. Okay. Huh? You wish. What do you mean? I, I wish for what? I could get a man to buy me a truck. I don't need a man. No, no. You couldn't get one. No, there's not a man out there. Wait, hang on a second. Let me see if, uh, if these men... Hey, uh, Chris, uh, if, you, if you met a woman who's 185 pounds, would you buy her a car? No way. What about a truck? No, thanks. All right, just checking. Let me get to Scott on here. Hey, Scott. Yeah. If you met a wo- woman who's 185 pounds, would you go out and buy her a car? No way. What about a truck? No. Uh-uh. Uh, absolutely not. All right. Just checking. I mean, Marie, I'm telling you, I can do this all day. I'm telling you. Yeah, and I'm telling you, they also couldn't afford to buy my ranch. Well, again, they, 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 that's being... My ranch when I... At 185 pounds, you, you have to work hard. And I appreciate the fact that you have to work hard to make money because no man's going to pay your bills. That's what I always say. Any girl going down the road rodeo, any girl, anyone. What? A five foot five... And 102 pounds, and I can guarantee you they've paid for their own trucks. Because uh, they, they paid for them in fellatio. What? They paid for them in fellatio. No, any girl going down the road rodeoing has paid for their own truck, has paid for their own trailer. Uh, again, if home. they all look uh, like you, 5'5 uh, and 185, of course they paid for their own trucks. You've obviously never watched rodeo because those girls are like 5'5 five five and like 100 pounds. Yeah. And they pay for their own crap. Hang on a second, Marie. Uh, John, uh, if you met a woman who was 185 pounds, would you buy her a truck? Oh, no, I wouldn't buy it. only thing I would do is buy her a subscription to the gym. Take the Big Mac out of your back pocket, you fat pig. You know what? The really funny thing is, is I probably have more muscle on my body than you do. And a filthy mouth, too. A lot, oh, of, cla- well. lot of class there, lady. Yeah, there'll be yeah, a lot. There'll be a lot of men. A lot of men will be engaging in chivalry and buying things for you and paying your bills. You and your filthy mouth, you filthy sailor, filthy, believable. 
Our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. Hear us worldwide on the Internet at FM Talk, the letter I, dot com. The Tom Likas Show.